Today, we're going to do the unthinkable. Some of y'all said it couldn't be done. Some of you said it shouldn't be done, but some things just must be done. We are going to build physical Aya. We have a couple things we're gonna try. We have the Pale Flame set. We have the Bloodstain set. We can mix and match there. We might throw a little gladiators in there and then we're gonna go take out our aggression on a couple different bosses. So to start, this is not the weapon we wanna use. We want the Aquila Pavonia. Physical Ayaka, physical damage bonus. Just don't sprint. Now, before we get too far in, we do have C6, and this is why I wanna try physical damage in particular. I mean, we'll, we'll, get, a, we'll get a good idea regardless, but you know, with this bonus, to our charged attacks. It's gonna be some pretty big numbers, I hope. For our talents, we are eight, eight and eight, but you know, from constellations, these are 11. However, the one we really care about is our normal attack. That's where the physical damage comes from. Our first thing we're trying will be four piece hail flame build on Ayaka. Ayaka's E has a 10 second cooldown. However, our first constellation gives us a chance to reduce the cooldown of our E of our elemental skill, which means we might be able to stack it to two. We're gonna try. 2,000 years later. Turns out four piece play of flame is not the way. You could not activate her E quickly enough to do it twice to get the four piece bonus. So what we're gonna do instead right now, two piece gladiator, two piece physical damage reduction set. And we're gonna see how that looks. Here we have two piece gladiator, two piece pale flame. That gives us a total of 62 crit, 195 crit damage, under 24 physical damage bonus, and 2487 attack. So we're gonna take physical Ayaka into the storm terror fight. Let's uh, drop Oz, use, you, uh, use her E. And um, so this is physical Ayaka, one phasing to Valen. Not bad. We only got one crit out of the charge attack. So I want to try again. I want to get a hit where we get all three of those charge attacks crit. We're having some technical difficulties on this one. Zhongli got stuck on the dragon's neck. Let's try again. <laughs> this time for realsies. We want, we want all of that initial charge attack to crit. We need Oz. We need our superconduct. There, that was two of those. We got we got more crits that time. That was not bad. I think that gives us an idea of how close we were. 22k on the charged attack, 10k on the non-C6 charged attack. Now we have to go poke child aggressively. Yo, know, those 24Ks, that's uh, that's solid. I'll take it. I will take that. More super conduct. More big numbers. Seems good. 24Ks against child with our charged attack. Get this. Get our super conduct going. And we'll just we'll just mash away with our reduced defense that he has. The physical I am. And just like that. Two piece gladiator, two piece physical bonus set. Yo, yeah, it's shown us what physical Ayaka might be able to do. I kind of like it. So Bloodstain and Pale Flame both do the same thing. However, however, you can mix and match Bloodstain and Pale Flame. So the next thing that we are looking to do is to in fact do just that. All right, so now we have two piece Bloodstain, two piece Pale Flame. You can see over here, we have a double physical damage bonus. We have 2384 attack, so around a hundred less attack. 50% uh, crit, 207 crit damage, 149% physical damage bonus. So, I mean, we're within 10% on the crit damage. Our crit rate is lower, which is unfortunate, but I think it'll work. All right, so let's go fight the dragon one more time. Notice how shiny her wrist is. That's the, uh, that is her C6 that is lighting up her wrist. Makes it very, very blingy. All right, there we go. We gotta get our shield popped. We gotta get our angry bird angry. Trigger superconduct and attack away. Ooh, that was a nice one. So number wise, it, it is very close. It's very similar. All right, well, we've seen Storm Terror get one phased by physical act. I know that, look, I know that's not gonna impress anybody, but still fun to do. Now let's go beat up this little child over here. Hit like and subscribe or physical act is gonna be hiding under your bed. And, uh, yo, that was some big damage right there. 
dude I, I i feel like we had about a thousand on what we did with the uh, with the other set <laughs> That is not what we wanted to do. Now we got to wait a second. Uh, let's see. Yeah, she's, she definitely hits higher crits against Tartaglia. Definitely hits higher crits. We'll have to we'll have to do a little comparison, but they were definitely bigger numbers. And so remember, those 25Ks are from her C6. The 10 to 11,000 normal charge attack numbers, those are her normal charge attack damage. Again, with level 8 talent i think we have enough evidence to say one thing physical ayaka can do some decent decent damage however it's a pain in the ass to play because you have to not sprint because otherwise you're gonna turn everything to cryo and of course when you have all physical gear on her you don't want to do cryo damage you don't want to convert her physical damage to cryo damage which so now we're gonna get a baseline ayaka now has her cryo configuration back on which means we have 53 percent crit rate 235 crit damage cryo damage this time the mist splitter we have the four piece blizzard strayer set so now we have gone you in the party with her to make sure we crit since we don't need to trigger super conduct all right let's fight storm terror as cryo ayaka and all we're gonna do is charge attacks like we did last time one last time to beat up our punching bag Only 14k. Notice, this is our cryo setup, doing the cryo damage. We're doing a significantly less charge attack damage here. We did not even one phase him with the charge attack damage using cryo setup. One thing that the other set affords us, just given the set bonuses, is there's a lot more attack involved on the other set. 16k. So a little bit more. So... Look, in a battle of just charged attacks, physical Ayaka seems to do some pretty good damage. And we can go through the go through the floor. Now our E hits for about 10k more. Our not our charged attacks definitely hit more cryo damage when we've got this setup. So uh, I mean, look, physical Aka just charged attack spam with a superconduct setup definitely seems to hit a bit more. We have to do one more thing just to prove a point. So we're gonna fight Storm Terror one more time. I lied when I said we were done picking on him. Here's what's happening, y'all. You ready? When you're playing Cryo Ayaka, you're not playing her to just charge attack spam. And you probably don't have C6 anyway, because I would never recommend that in the first place. But what you do have with any Ayaka is her ult. And her ult is disgusting. Disgusting! Remember, this is a very non-scientific test for our amusement and nothing more. I don't recommend C6ing any character. I don't recommend C6ing Ayaka. I don't recommend any of that. There are entirely too many variables to call this conclusive but i can say that in the setup that we did physical ayaka was pretty fun it's some big numbers now the numbers won't be as big if you don't have c6 but they were still numbers and they still hurt and they poked things you know a charge attack where you instantly fire off 30k damage because you have a physical build and you've decided you never in your life want to hit the sprint button again and you have just accepted the fact you, you enjoy pain like that which i don't know that i'll ever understand her ult is definitely where the damage is but hey don't forget to subscribe.